spot where we got big playoff action. The Boston Celtics, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Game five. Let's go. Yes, we got a game five today. Back in the TD Garden. I hope you guys enjoy this 1.5 speed. I think this is just speed from now on. I enjoy 1.5 because we can see everything we got to see in a timely fashion. And Marcus I think Morris all my some NBA reacts from this point out will be at 1.5 speed. But well, I will start well, as, start as the season comes to an end. And as the games get further apart, I'm going to start getting up. Back into the stories bag where we talk about NBA, where we ask some questions about certain players, certain things we see in the season. It don't got to be about the game. It can be about some weird shit. Like Malik Beasley stud shake. <laughs> NBA rap is coming back. So if you are a fan of the channel, if you're, you know, a recurring person who comes to the channel, just know that that's what's coming up. If you're new to this channel, man, Spot World TV, we do basketball all the time. So please hit that like button, hit that sub button. Him, no matter who you are, if you're not some, make sure you hit that stuff. What is there to say? Cleveland Cavaliers shorthanded your best player, Donovan Mitchell. It's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough to get that win. Darius Garland balling. Balled out last game as well. Balled out last game as well. And it's the willingness to make that extra pass there by Tatum. Isaac Okoro quickly summoned by J.D. Bickerson. Celtics want to finish this at home. And that game did. Struce, able to find the laces. Struce. Why always call him Maxie? I don't know why I always call him Maxie. Maxie. Just Maxie. Just Maxie. Marcus Morris came out with uh, the energy for the Cavs, man. He put down 25 points. He's the second leading scorer on the Cavs. The leading scorer of this game for the Cavaliers was Evan Mobley, 15 and 24, 33 points. And I hope that next season he takes this game as a foundational piece and continues to build on his offensive game. Because Evan Mobley, man, he's been a seven footer. And he has the tools, I think, to take that step off and shoot the offensive court. The Celtics and sometimes how stagnant and that would definitely have the they allow five sets of eyes to kind of load to the basketball especially if they lose Garland which I'm hearing he might sign with LA I don't know it's just speculation but especially if um Darius uh excuse me Donovan Mitchell goes because I'm hearing he might want to change the scenery three-pointer won't go look at Horford again might be true for that keep in mind the end of the first half on a 15-4 run oh Horford finds the laces. Go over the ball. Something stop. Al Horford, 8 of 15. He is a bleed. It's now working out. Once again, this Cleveland team is trying to pick itself up on the mat. Only to spin the leader and a soft touch. Yeah, man, I'm getting excited. I hope he don't care about Father. He don't care about that. Jason Tatum had 25. This was Jalen Brown's worst game in the playoffs. He's only 100 points. 7 assists, though. 4 rebounds. 4 rebounds. He didn't even take 10 shots, man. 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 They can do it. 24 percent. 33 for 3. And that's what's scary about the South. That is what's scary about the South. Up 10. What a minute to go in the third. It's just what's scary. It's an eight-point game, 15 seconds. Better six seconds difference. But here's the pick and roll action. Garland and to Mobley. An NBA I'm not going to say that's the worst thing. Mobley nearly coughs it up. This is I'm Mars in the court. Elevates over the top of the Horford. That's a testament Holiday that on the testament that how catch. good they are. Really turns it over but again. it's Green something that can come back to haunt them. Of course, someone told you that Darius Garland would shoot three or four teams tonight with all the players that got missing. No Donovan Mitchell, no Levert. And that they'd still be alive. And that's a situation where Cruz is not going to win that battle consistently against a defender like White. White! They need him to have an impact on that side. He's 3 of 14 shooting, but he's able to get Horford on his back. Involved, and so he's going to have to do more offensively. Wade trying to stay in front of Taylor and gets it to Horford in the corner. Wide open. And they wisely Bruh, pull it out to Al Horford three. Here comes Brown. Al Horford going crazy just reminds me of the series that I hate to think about. To but Katie's last season was broken when he got swept by the Celtics, man. Gee, what are you thinking about here if you're Garland in this offense? He's Al Horford was putting it. Hey! In that city, man, bro, he really was. He was going crazy. And when you get a good Al Horford game, I don't know what the numbers are, but when Al Horford scores 20 points on the Celtics team, I feel like they, they never lose. 
two and a half. And it's not like he's doing it all the time. I don't think he's lost a game where he scored 20. Holiday all by himself. Ever. He's going to be coming up either Sunday or Tuesday. How do I check that, though? How do I check for obscure NBA stats? He's got to be happy to see some of the growth from those young guys, but the Celtics... Celtics taking the game 113 to 98, man. Not only taking the game, but taking the series against the Cleveland Cavaliers. If you are a Cleveland Cavaliers fan and you're here right now, please tell me how you're feeling, how you feel about this season, what you think is going to go on for your future. I'm very curious to know. Celtics fans, you got to. What y'all thinking about next round, man? Either the Knicks or the Pacers. Who you think it's going to be? What you think you're going to do? Let me know what y'all thought about this game in the comments. Please do hit that like button if you're here and that sub button if you're new.